I was just six years old when my parents and I were called to the doctor. The doctor sits us down, she puts me on a scale, and she says a bunch of big words I can't understand. I'm six. I don't think very much of this experience, but it was at this point that I started to notice how other people in my life felt a constant need to mention how fat I looked. This external chatter quickly became internal, self-inflicted. I wondered why I looked so big. I wondered why I couldn't look like all the other girls in year two. Year two blended into every other year of my life, and at a certain point, I couldn't take it any longer. But before that, my parents were so confused. Now, both of my parents are immigrants. My mom is Tanzanian and my dad is Nigerian. And in a lot of different African cultures, larger body types are the standard. We see it as a symbol that your mother or your wife had done a very good job in cooking. <laughs> in fact, Every single time I go back home, my aunties and my uncles say the exact same thing to my parents. They say, hey, Aladi, <laughs> do you feed your children? <laughs> my parents were confused because back home, I was average size for a six-year-old. And in this country, I got teased for how fat I looked. But no one's born hating their own body. We were taught to hate our own bodies. Who taught you to hate the body you live in, the body that's pumping you blood, the body that's keeping you alive? And while I wish I could go deeper in explaining this dark, dark period of my life, the bottom line is that I changed my body to get the outside world to shut up. And they did. They kept quiet. But the voices in my head didn't. I had lost the weight, sure, but there was still a part of myself whispering to me, telling me that I should lose more. But what that part of me didn't understand back then, and what I want everyone to understand today, is that your body can change, will change, throughout all of these different periods of your life. But your inherent worth as a human being, living, breathing, right now, that never changes.